What's up guys, welcome back. I am really excited to keep moving with this Shape of the Week segment. Uh, before we dive into this one, I hope that you'll go back and check out all of the Shapes of the Week that we've talked about so far. So today we're gonna to talk about augmented. So we're gonna talk about augmented the same way last week we talked about diminished. So what I mean is that it's a symmetrical sound and that you'll find as you take it through the keys that there's not that many of these symmetrical. Last time we talked about three diminished groupings of four and here on augmented, we have four groups of three, right? So everything here is a major third. So we're going to use C as our home base like we have for the last few lessons. And we're going to go through and we're going to talk about those notes. So that's C, E, G sharp, and C again. So there's our one octave. Then we're going to do two octaves. Before, we'll also get the metronome on and we'll do the full range of the instrument. And so what you notice here is that just like in the diminished, C augmented is the same as A flat augmented is the same as E augmented. So it's the same pitches. And when we cycle through it, you'll see that it's the same notes repeated and repeated and repeated. So we're going to do the same thing that we did. We're going to go to the range of the instrument. We're going to do our three note groupings. try to do five note groupings, what you realize is that you actually go past an octave. And every other grouping we've just stuck inside one octave. But if we do fives, it'll go past an octave. Augmented. I mean, these are just triads, right? There's only three notes in there. All major thirds. So after practicing, guys, I hope that makes sense. I hope you'll take it through all 12 keys, base it on all the root notes, do one octave, two octaves, range of the instrument, three, four, and five note rotations, and you'll be all good to go.